Congratulations on the book. Thank you. Beautiful read. It's the story of you and your mom, Terry. Can you describe her? She was our character. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a, a ballsy woman who mm -hmm. sort of forged ahead and didn't make any, uh, didn't make up any apologies ever. Wow. She was fabulous. She was larger than life. She was gorgeous. And she was an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And she was the fiercest mama you can imagine. Right. And she, you know, where, where she didn't feel like she could fit in or do it, she made herself. Fit in. Wow. I mean, she was, you know, she was from Newark, so mm. she was. Newark! Newark! Me and Terry! So, <laughs> you and Terry, <laughs> terrific. Yeah, and she, you know, she really, she was proud of that, she, but she also wanted to sort of be accepted in this other part of society in Manhattan. And, right. you know, and she, she did it. She got, she got in a funny, one of the funniest stories, but she always wanted me to have impeccable manners. Yes. And she said, no matter what, you have manners, you say please and thank you, you respect yes. people, you write thank you notes. Right, we went and through the same thing when it came was a, that. Yeah, That's we were right. in, um, and then we would go to these, but it was really funny when we were, um, we were in Southampton, which was a very sort of posh right. area, and there was a beach club, mm -hmm. and I was invited to go to a little, a little friend's house. Mm -hmm. why it's a little friend, I don't know, but we were young. <laughs> and, um, and we went there, and I, after the, Dinner, I cleaned my plate, brought my plate to the sink, and I, you know, rinsed it and brought it in the sink. And I got home, and the woman called my, the mother called my mother and said, uh, would you please tell your daughter that we have people to do that in our house, and she does not need the next time she comes here to bring her plate to the sink. And my mother said, well, <laughs> oh, boy. we don't have people, and you don't have to worry. That won't be a problem, because she's never coming over to your house again. <laughs> Love that story. Like, you know, but she's also the woman that, you know, got into a bit of a tiff with my dad and decided to tie the red bra to a sort of chair, a broken chair, I don't know what happened, but and put it in the all male, the staunchiest old school all male club in Manhattan <gasps> and really set like Oh my set, gosh. She, she was she was a wild child, you she know. She was a wild child, a bit a, a trailblazer though in a lot of ways. I mean it, yeah. that was challenging to kind of prepare you for that world, to step into that world, but yet keep you grounded at the same time. Was it tough sort of going back and reliving some of these memories to write this book? You know, it was hard. It, it was hard reliving the good ones mm -hmm. because she was so much fun at times and right. her sense of humor was so amazing. Mm -hmm. And she had this just, this vibrant, she was vibrant, and yeah. and you look at that, and then you're telling these stories, and you're sort of reliving the exciting parts and the happy right. parts, and where she was, she made you feel fabulous, and yeah. she made my friends feel wanted and loved, and 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 then you remember the ending, yeah. <laughs> you know, and you're like, oh, I I know the ending of this book, and this yeah. woman didn't wasn't able to sort of continue that way. She yes. she put it all into me, and really protected me avariciously, yes. but couldn't really take care of herself. She did a great job with you. <laughs> Thank you. She did an amazing job with you. Thank you. And you, you talk about your mom being an alcoholic, and first of all, thank you for sharing that, because I think people can relate to that um, and will connect with what you went through. But you, you wrote in the book that when you were 13, you organized an intervention. I did. Um, I, How, tell me about that. You know, I, I realized that I was the most important person in my mother's life, and mm -hmm. we were basically, she raised me basically on her own. I mean, my father, she, all she asked from my father is that he put me through school. Yes. And he did. And, but we were alone, yeah. and her drinking got more excessive. Mm -hmm. And I, there's one chapter that I titled, uh, I wish I only knew you in the mornings, mama. Um, and, um, it's bizarre. Sorry. It's because I know you and love yeah, you. No, I'm looking at <laughs> you like, and, uh, oh, and, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make it's eye contact, okay. God forbid. Um, right. And, and, uh, and th when I finished school at the end of every day, mm -hmm. I could see the look in her face. Yeah. And that was a look that I didn't want to have in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know, Mom, uh, we staged this intervention. I got my godmother to help me, and we found a place, and we... You know, we tricked her into it, and you really yeah. only kind of get one shot at that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she left, but she turned, she looked at me and she said, I'm gonna do this, but I'm doing this for you. And that's the kiss of death with alcoholism or any yeah. kind of addiction, you know? I didn't know that at the time, right. and I was relieved that she 
um, wanted to give it a shot for me. I think she was... You know what? But first of all, how difficult it must have been, you know, for her to be an alcoholic. She's raising you. She's doing the best she can. She probably didn't have it in herself to make that step. You, who she's living for in so many ways, you probably gave her just a little break. Even if it didn't last, you know, you probably motivated her in a bigger way than you could Im imagine. So I can imagine yeah, that was so a lot of pressure for it, you as a kid. But it, well, I mean, you know, this is a woman who strapped me to her chest because mm -hmm. she was so afraid I was going to die. Wow. And, you know, we were... She had this little baby after sort of having a really sort of a lonelier childhood and, mm -hmm. and, and sort of losing herself in the moving picture, she called him. <laughs> and then she has this baby and, you know, I was unconditional in my love for her. Mm -hmm. And I guess when I, I was the only one that could affect the situation yes. and, and say, I love you too much to let this keep happening with us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she tried. Um, yeah. I just don't think she had the self-esteem. God bless yeah. her. God bless her. <laughs>